I hope you guys are hungry because today I have three super easy and delicious recipes to share. What's up guys, good evening. I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend. I know that I have had a nice and lazy week. You guys probably haven't seen much of me all this week, not really on any social media, but the last month, a month and a half, has completely wiped me out. So this past week has been absolutely fantastic. My husband finally had a couple of days off, which has been great. We've been trying to get Christmas put away and house projects accomplished and Christmas like actual toys, items, you know, all those things. Like my mom gave us a microwave, just like all that stuff that we want to just go ahead and put away. So it's been really nice to just kind of focus on the house for a couple of days and I know you guys understand and appreciate when I have to disappear for a couple of days so I appreciate you guys always but today I was sitting here trying to back up my computer so if you guys missed that video where I just backed up my phone with that photo cube which I absolutely love uh, I'll link that video for you guys so you can check it out but I just figured since it was the start of the new year this would be a perfect time to just do a kind of clean slate of everything I mean that's even our mindset with us putting a away Christmas and setting up the house is just setting up for a clean slate like just starting off the year nice and fresh and clean and I kind of wanted to do that to my computer I'm debating if I want to purchase a new computer or not I would really love to buy a Mac just because I have an iPhone and now I just got AirPods for Christmas and I've been in the market for looking at an Apple watch for a long time and I just kind of feel like I would really love for all of my things to talk to each other. I feel like that would make my life so much easier and I really want to use Final Cut Pro to start to edit. I just love all the little things that that editing program does that my editing program can't do and I heard that it's best supported on a Mac. So I've been kind of debating if I want to go forth and just make those purchases and get myself a watch and a computer and just have all of my things kind of work together to make my life easier but in the interim until I make that decision I want to do some work on my computer so I want to put in like you know a fresh antivirus program dump and back up all of my pictures so I can wipe everything out and clean it out and while I was going through my computer I realized I had a bunch of like every plate clips that I hadn't shared with you guys so I just decided to string them together and share them with you guys right now I know some of you don't like when I share every plate, but they're not sponsored. Like I've never been sponsored by every plate. I do share a link that I always tell you guys is in the description box, which gets you guys $20 off and then gets me $20 in credit. So by getting it, giving it to you guys for $20 off means you only pay $10 for three meals. So a lot of people have signed up because these meals are incredible. They're super easy and they're affordable if you like any kind of delivery service. So I like to share these videos because I literally love these recipes and I cook them. Like I don't share every recipe with you guys. I get every plate every two weeks and I get three meals. So that means I get six meals a month and I don't even share one of these a month with you guys. So I don't share and film every one, but I like to share them just because all right, for example, today one of the recipes is a shrimp scampi linguine. Maybe you've made shrimp scampi a bunch of times before. Maybe you've made it so many times that you know the recipe by the back of your hand, but you wouldn't have thought to do like toasted breadcrumbs on the top. But they do like a toasted panko and they add it to the top of that. And so that's what I love is that maybe their recipes you guys have seen before or made a zillion times before, but they just do one tiny tweak that may be a lifetime game changer for somebody. So I like to share them because I only shared the ones that are different, like the ones that I wouldn't normally make that and you guys see it in a what's for dinner. One of the recipes has Brussels sprouts in it. My family doesn't like Brussels sprouts, so I would never make that 
for them. It would just be something like I would make special for myself. So when I saw it on there, I ordered it as every plate meal because it was something that I can do just for lunch, which I thought, you know, would be awesome. So I just filmed the ones that are special, like not run in the mill, not something like every day, just something kind of out of the box to kind of give you guys a little bit of extra ideas. Like they do a mass sweet potato and they tell you just to mash it with butter but i added a little bit of heavy cream and honey so that was just a twist maybe the next time you'll make mashed sweet potatoes you'll do it like that so i like to share them but again they're not sponsored i just share my link and if you guys choose to use it you do and if not you know you don't but i just like to share these because i'm getting them anyway so you might as well get the recipes for free so i've been sitting in here give you guys a little behind the scenes this is my favorite editing setup because i do not have a desk or a place to go so i like to edit in my bathroom because it's the only place place that I get any kind of peace by myself. The acoustics are good in here, I guess, to where um, like the sound is crisp and clear because it's almost like being in a studio because it's closed off like this. So uh, this is where I was just editing and doing a voiceover and then I realized I didn't have an intro. So I'm going to roll you into three super yummy recipes and then I'll meet you right back here. So for our first dish, we are starting out with a shrimp linguine dish. And I was really excited to cook this because shrimp is actually one of my favorite foods, but my husband has a shellfish allergy. And so I do not prep any kind of fish for a normal meal. So when I get to do something fun, like a scampi style shrimp linguine for lunch, I'm always all about this. So you need some fresh parsley. You're going to need a shrimp. They sent to me nine ounces. You need a half a pound of pasta. We need some red chili pepper flakes, some lemon, an onion, some Parmesan cheese. You need some chicken stock. They give you concentrate. And then you also need some panko breadcrumbs. So here's all of our stuff already prepped. I chopped up the parsley. I diced up the garlic. I quartered and zested the lemon and then I also thinly sliced our onion and so we're going to start off first by making sure that the shrimp is good and dry you just want to make sure that there's none of that liquid that it sits in in the package left on the shrimp so I just used a couple of paper towels and patted them dry and then inside that same bowl we're going to add a little bit of olive oil some salt and pepper our diced up garlic and then our lemon zest and a little bit of those red chili pepper flakes obviously you judge to how hot that you like it I like it a little bit on the spicier side so I even topped mine at the end with a little bit so now I have some water off in a pot on the side and then I got one tablespoon of butter melted in a frying pan and then added those panko breadcrumbs and you can see that I mixed them till they were toasty and brown and we're going to use that for a topping and so now we're going to just go ahead and take that shrimp that's been marinating and that olive oil and garlic and lemon zest and the salt and pepper and the chili flakes and you're going to throw that in another tablespoon of melted butter now shrimp does not need any time at all in the frying pan literally a minute or two on each side so that's it I usually drop them in the pan by the time I drop all of them in the pan the first ones are ready to be flipped by the time you go back and flip them they're ready to come out so I pull them out and then in that very same pan you're just going to go ahead and throw another tablespoon of butter and now throw your onions and your remaining garlic in there and we're going to go ahead and just get that all sauteed because watch what we're making now that we're going to add our pasta to. So I went ahead and added the stock concentrate and then it calls for you to add water to your stock concentrate, but I added broth. And then now we have our cooked pasta that I went ahead and threw into that mix that we just made along with Parmesan cheese and then that shrimp that we cooked. And then now we're gonna top it with fresh parsley and we're gonna go ahead and mix that in. So that linguine, 
cooked by itself on the side. And then we went and made this super simple, easy, really delicious, like a scampi shrimp in this sauce, and then top it with those toasted breadcrumbs and a little bit more fresh parsley. And oh my gosh, you guys, this was so, so good. You just serve it with that lemon on the side and it's just so bright and so yummy and so quick. And now why I love to share this is maybe you guys have made a scampi before, or maybe you've made, you know, a chicken scampi, a shrimp scampi, any kind of thing. Maybe this is like not new news to you, but I've never done the toasted panko on top and that little bit of extra crunch along with the garlic and the lemon and the fresh parsley. This was so yummy and I got to spoil myself with some shrimp. So I absolutely loved that. And I loved this dish too, because this dish had Brussels sprouts. And again, I'm the only one in the house who eats Brussels sprouts, as well as I'm pretty much the only one who eats any kind of sweet potato. So this is a chicken in a creamy Dijon sauce and there's a mashed sweet potato on the side with bacon studded Brussels sprouts. So this completely spoke to everything that I love and not everything that my family loves. So sometimes I love to do these just to spoil myself. So you need a little bit of sour cream, some chicken stock, some Dijon mustard. You guys know how I feel about the bacon that comes from every plate. You'll need some Brussels sprouts. There's two sweet potatoes over there and then over here we have some chicken. So that is it you guys that's all that you need and wait to see what we're going to make so went ahead and cubed up our sweet potatoes and threw those in some boiling water and then I trimmed our brussels sprouts so when you trim brussels sprouts you just cut off the stem on the bottom and peel back the outside layer and it leaves you a really nice hearty vegetable on the inside so I threw that with some olive oil salt and pepper on one side of the pan and then I also went ahead and put their bacon on the other side of the pan that grease and of mixing with the Brussels sprouts. Oh my goodness, so good. So now our sweet potatoes are done. So I went ahead and drained them and then added it back to the pan with one tablespoon of butter, two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, and then one tablespoon of honey. And oh my goodness, it's so, so sweet. And then in a pan with just a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper, I started to cook our chicken breast. So I let them cook for about five to six minutes on each side so that they were good and cooked cooked all the way through. And then right in that same pan, we're gonna make a gravy. So I added a little bit of olive oil and threw in that garlic and sauteed it. And then in went the chicken stock concentrate and some water, the Dijon mustard and the sour cream. And then that was it. It made a nice gravy and then poof that you guys that was like restaurant style and it's just chicken with sweet potatoes and brussels sprouts but holy cow was this not so amazing the gravy was perfect on top of that chicken that was so tender and the sweet potatoes were so sweet with that little bit of heavy cream and the honey and that crispy delicious bacon on top of the brussels sprouts you guys so good and it took how many ingredients right all right, last thing, and this is so exciting because this is that recipe from that girl Jess over at Jess Fam that I absolutely love that I wanted to share because she always gets sponsored by HelloFresh, and you know every plate is HelloFresh's sister company, and she doesn't eat meat, so she always makes these chickpea tacos, and this just sounded so good because this also had a pineapple salsa with it. So in a little bit of olive oil, you're gonna go ahead and stick our pineapples in the olive oil, and you're gonna get the that sauce sauteing, bring out the sweetness for the salsa. And then we're going to dump our chickpeas drained into a bowl and add the taco seasoning that they provide. It really just adds like that perfect taco flavor. And then we added a little bit of olive oil to a frying pan and threw those chickpeas in. And you're just going to go ahead and, you know, toss them until they're cooked. Now that was the frying pan that we were cooking that pineapple in. So from that frying pan, I had just put it in a side bowl. And then now we're going to go ahead and add every everything else. So we added some fresh lime juice, the cilantro, some onion, and then we went ahead and mixed all that together, salt and pepper. And it was ended up making like a really, really good like pico de gallo, but with a pineapple twist to it. So it was 
literally perfect. And then we made a lime crema. So you put a little bit of the sour cream with some lime juice and some lime zest and a little bit of salt and pepper and it just made a really yummy crema. And then now once those chickpeas are ready to be cooked through, we add a little bit of garlic, a little bit of onion, a little bit of ginger, and then the rest of that taco seasoning along with some tomato paste. And it made just the really most delicious sauce on top of these chickpeas that let me tell you something, I could eat that all day every day and never need meat inside of my taco because now we had a little bit of that white queso cheese that we sprinkled on top with that lime crema and then that fresh pineapple pico de gallo and then those soft warm tortillas like I can totally eat tacos like that and never need meat again. So, so good. All right, you guys. So I hope that you enjoyed those three recipes. I really really loved that shrimp scampi just because again that's something I would never cook for myself those sweet potatoes with the brussels sprouts and then that Dijon chicken like so 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 good and then I was excited to share that chickpea taco because I've talked about Jess from Jess fam a bunch of times but she does a hello fresh sponsored video once a month and that's usually what she cooks every single time that she does a video because it's so easy and it's what she loves and I was like all right there's no way this chick is cooking this once a month and like tossing it in the garbage it's got to be good right and so when I saw a chickpea taco on the every plate I was like yes let me taste it and it just blew my mind you guys I could do those chickpeas every single day with that pineapple pico de gallo and the lime crema it was just so so delicious so I'm gonna go ahead and finish and get this video up and then I'm gonna go back to being lazy like I've done absolutely zero with my hair you guys always said you want to see what my hair looks like out of the shower this is it and you can tell that I need a dye job like it's you can see how outgrown my roots are. My grays are coming in like crazy. Um, and I'm not dressed. And I'm just sitting here, like I said, uh, on the top of the toilet doing what I always do, which is hiding out in the bathroom to do my work. I have my buddy with me right there. He doesn't leave me ever. He follows me everywhere I go. And so there he is sleeping on the little cuddle plushy mat while mom works. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I'm pretty sure I'll be back tomorrow with some kind of vlog style video. I've been working on, you know, putting away the Christmas stuff and trying to take you guys with me on that. So tomorrow night I should be back with some kind of vlog style video. And then of course Monday I'll be back for my regular grocery haul. And I do have some stuff planned for next week. So you guys will definitely have some content coming out I just I've just been enjoying my downtime it was also my time of the month this month I heard Vanessa talking about that too it's like I think it's what's that old saying like girls that hang together flow together or whatever but she had a pretty miserable week as well and when I get like that I just I lose just the ability to want to do anything and then our nation's just been in strife all week and it's just kind of put me in a funk so I've just kind of been chilling in my you know comfy clothes and putting my life back together and trying to get a good start and a healthy fresh start on the year I told you guys that I was going to film like a clean out my fridge and freezer yeah that didn't happen I went to Sam stocked up and put it in my unwiped out fridge and freezer and that's the reality of it I haven't done it yet so maybe I'll include that in tomorrow's video too maybe that will finish out the video because I was going to finish it out in the morning so maybe that's what we'll go ahead and do just because I promised I would share that with you guys but you know like like I said it's been crazy but you guys know and you always stick around for my craziness and that's why I love you guys so much so thank you again so much for watching I love you guys all so so much and I will see you guys in the next one Bye, guys.